All right, thank you for joining us. Yeah, right before I recorded this, I got kicked out. So, okay, all right, all right. Sending energies, blessings, and I'm going to the chat portion of uh, the webinar. All right, Gundam, any messages from higher self? I uh, just see Mother Mary energies there, healing a lot of uh, feminine energies from your past. A lot of blockages there. I also see a lot of dinosaurs there. Uh, hybrid dinosaurs that you're part of uh, working on in your past as a Zeta being. Any messages from alternative self that succeeded with similar challenge? Um. Well, I see another version of you that is, you know, with hair, like rock star hair. Um, I see him as like a like a chef, uh, well, like a Gordon Ramsay, <coughs> sort of. Not exactly, but I think you have your own hotel, from what I'm saying, with your name on it. But you're still a chef there, and you let others deal with everything else. Uh, Pamela, are there any messages from my husband who passed away in 2002? I do see a lot of Anunnaki energies connected to him. Uh, you have a lot of Asian incarnations of them also on this world. So it's just, uh, it's just like a soulmate energy that's been going on for some time. Do you incarnate in this world basically to test your relationship, but also to show that love can conquer all? One of the reasons. Are there any messages from... Uh, Mother Mary, uh, you're in a let's see a new movement of yourself of going deeper into who you are. Is feline energies, but also Egyptian energies. Yeah, Egyptian past that you might not be fully aware of. Uh, many humans here are you know, part of a different type of Africa that was back in the past. So I see you uh, in Sudan. So, um, see so what you feel on that. Uh, we're not, Sudan and the ancient world is totally different. A lot of the past has been hidden. Uh, Carol, any messages for me? Uh, see Archangel Michael's energy is assisting with your crown chakra at this time. Uh, to bring blue angel energies around you, basically assisting your energy field for health. It's all about health right now. Questions here, any messages from Yeshua? Uh, it seems like you're doing a lot of forgiveness of yourself. So you can keep yourself younger and also go and connect, stay on this world a lot longer uh, so you can stay with your family. So <clears throat> you're working on longevity at this time, little by little. Uh, Maddie, uh, I'd like to know more about my past life when I got my vocal cords removed. Like, wh who was it? What was I doing? Well, it seemed like it was a tribe. I feel like you were in love with somebody that was forbidden to be in love with like you were like an activist of some kind i mean it does look like it's africa but it's not being entirely clear of where it feels like africa but it's not well either way you're in love with um i want to see like african type africa slash mayan i believe it was in africa they're not saying where <coughs> by uh, congo somewhere around there yeah you're in love with somebody that was forbidden to you and they cut your uh, vocal cords I don't think it survived after that either. So, uh, it just was a lot of corruption around him. He was too scared to say anything, so he said something. Whereas some of the events in my past life are related to this, where I'm in now. And how are we both alike? Uh, very productive li lifetimes. I see you actually working for a king in India in your past life. Not oh, like a servant. I'll be very more spiritual aware. You're very spiritual aware, but you're also afraid for your life. So it's not exactly the same here, but yeah, that's like a whole reading there. Um, that's a little bit deep, but I'll just leave you with that. Yeah, it's just uh, 1800 time period, something like that. Some kind of Indian prince or something like that you're connected to. Uh, Stephen, David, uh, Stephen uh, what am I doing in astral? I see cities being built. I see Archon energies that you're watching. Um, basically, you acquired a lot of their talents. 
in what the city you're capable of, but you're kind of on the edge of what they will discover from you. I mean, you don't want them to know your, you know, one of those little secrets, but you don't want them to take what you're creating and use it for bad. Let's put it that way. Uh, what they have done. <laughs> uh, next question. Any messages? I see you connected to the Orion, the Orion's belt. See, so that's something that you're very, it's just somewhere that you're doing a lot of internal healing at this time. Uh, it's just Orion, Orion's belt. Let's see. Um, it's kind of cryptic, but that's all they're giving me at this time. It seems to be something deep with your lineage connected to Earth. Uh, beings on Orion's belt are not, you know, just a lot of alien energies there that assist the Earth in its ascension process or for its creation process. So things will open up eventually. Marianne, any messages from Yeshua? Uh, it seems like you're healing your sh sacral chakra at this time and you're allowing more people into your life little by little. It might not be showing too much at this time. You allow more people into your life too bring another awareness of who you are and more like I feel like a grandmother energy around you as a teacher in this life. Question two, wondering where my sister Martha's Galactic family is from. I want to say Andromeda. I feel a lot of Neptune energies there too. And Mars. Actually you're from Mars. We'll have a lot of history with Mars. Uh, I know there's like, what is it called? The other planet, Meldek. I feel you're more Martian than anything else. <clears throat> Katie and Dance, can you tell me about the loud hiss I heard last night? It was as loud as someone opening a two liter soda. Yeah, it was a reptilian being not too. Uh, I feel like you went to a reptilian reality. And you're looking for something, not really showing what, but more about yourself, going into your who you are. Um, you're you're willing to face your fears, let's put it that way, you know, like that. And your message is, yeah, you're growing in more to a stronger being. So you're connecting to beings that are seen as forbidden, or people don't want anything to do with, or staying away from. But this is, you know. <clears throat> All right, we'll leave you with that. Uh, is there advice, message from me? I don't have this other one. Why do we get, why do I get itchy? All right, uh, first, is there any reason messages for me? Um, let's see if I'm in Andromeda Council. Uh, it's very deep within your psych, in your lineage of uh, assisting Orions with this planet. Also, you have a reptilian alliance that you're assisting of letting go of the beings that are controlling this planet, healing them. Uh, I feel like you're going to reptilian rehabilitation centers. Not you, but, you know, your other, you know, just doing like a galactic whip ass. If I get itchy, it is probably because of that. <laughs> it's kind of intense. Yeah, part of it is like a Wonder Woman side of you that's kicking everyone. Pass or something like that. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't need that in this reality. What am I doing? An astral? I see nature, Gaia, new versions of Earth, paradise planet, but also. Oh, what was that? What was that movie? Um, something with a thousand worlds. I forget. Uh, Voltaire one. Uh, Ver Varium of a Thousand Worlds. I forget the name of it. So like you're connected to that reality. You're con connected to like a perfect reality, but of course something comes in to mess everything up. That's a place that you're connected to. And Astro and also in Alien Worlds. I forget the name of Volarium. Volarium? They just made a movie about it. It kind of went bust. Yeah, you're connected to that reality. You probably feel some of that. But the perfect world in the beginning, you definitely have... It's not exactly like that, but to get the idea. Caleb, any messages for me? I just see music energies all through your chakras. You're also doing a, a deep healing of yourself of just self forgiveness, but also Mother Mary's energy to clear your chakras too. 
um, fulfill your timelines here on multiple levels. What karma am I working on through at the moment? Uh, Self-love. Uh, you know, yeah, it's like you're uh, this, this self-difficulty you're letting go, go of, uh, at this time. Interesting. More people are having trouble getting into the webinar. That's interesting. <laughs> Shit. Okay, Tristan. Interesting. Yeah, they're not the only one. Uh, any messages for me? Yeah, everyone, everything's been glitchy recently. Uh, any messages? Yeah, you're, I wonder how many people showed up. Um, anyway, uh, any messages? Um, yeah, you're part of a new timeline. That's coming in. It's part of uh, an Andromeda timeline, but uh, you're also very connected to the world of Neptune. Of past life, just your energy force seems like it's connected to that. Neptune's energy as a sign. Just your, yeah, releasing karma, but also knowing more about yourself. There's just different layers that you're going through at this moment. I had a dream the other night of taking care of a friend's house that warps into being chased by a vampire. Goth like woman ended up with a huge hook that came down from the sky and nearly plucked me up. But instead got the person climbing in front of me. Yeah, so you're obviously your neighbor's going through a lot of stuff. That's one of the reasons that they're to clear that your neighbor's energy from what it seems. Yeah. So, yeah, so the vampire energy is basically like an old relationship that you're helping your neighbor get through. So, yeah, it's a back and forth there. It's major and it's deep, as you can see. Okay. Let's see that. <clears throat> Uh, Donna, uh, I've had, I've seen, I haven't seen the cat, the stuffy for a couple of weeks. Any idea if he's, I'm not sure now. Feels like he might be on his way out. Feel like he's just, you know, no more Adam. Just feels like he's coming back, but you never know. Uh, any messages from Kermit for me? Um, well, you're connected to magic dimensions, magic realms. You came to this world as a gypsy in your past. You have gypsy energies. It might not fully show itself here in this reality. They kind of toned it down a lot, but in past lives have been a gypsy energy for certain various reasons. So, let me do uh, Susie, what I've been doing in astral. I did see, like... Architects of uh, realities you're connected to, of uh, a new Pentagon is being brought to the earth, more positive, but also a new president that hasn't been brought here just yet. So it's an energy that you're working on at this time. That's a big deal, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> it won't, Trump will still be in, but the future president. Are there any messages for me? Yeah, that's that shows your lineage here. You're, you're going to the simplest things in life know about yourself. You also have tough w learnings as an Arcturian being. It shows how strong the Arcturians have a presence on this planet. So you will see things fold out as you see, as you predict. Slowly, of course. You might not predict everything 100%, but that's all right. This timeline shift all the time. It's not a big deal. Beth, I feel like my small business is about to take off, even in this strange time of uncertainty. Is my intuition correct? Yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, just continue to be you, and things will turn out as they need to. Seems like the world needs what you what you have. What have I been doing in astral? And are there any messages for me? Uh, it seems like you're going more, yeah, more into yourself, which is allowing this business to occur. You're healing a lot of your fears, and allowing more good things to come about. So that's all that matters. Uh, Moses, does my higher self have any message for me? Uh, break down old habits and create new ones. Not habits, but you know, create new. Learn from your old habits. It's time to break old habits that you don't really care much for. 
Let's put it that way. Do my guides see a new job or, or function for me in the next couple of months? Uh, yes, you got to keep looking and keep deep looking. It has to do with finance or something like that, something around those lines. But look, keep looking deep. Eric, again, did me and Merlin go to a lot of adventures? Yes, on other worlds, actually, not so much this one. Uh, other worlds are not really just a Garthian world. When I imagine using my magic, I imagine creating blue birds out of the blue energies, making them fly into forms. Any messages? And, and how I use my. Well, obviously, in higher dimensions, it's easier. But you just thinking about these things, it's good. Just thinking about it, you don't have to necessarily have to do it because you are actually manifesting it. So just. If it, it imagine this does make you feel good, so continue in this process, and this is letting go of third dimensional programming and bringing more happiness to yourself. And you can go as far as you want, go as deep as you want. So this is yeah, it's just it's part of your inner being. You are magic. You're just connecting to your inner energy. That's all. You connect to the energy of the earth, but it's mostly you. You're connected to your your astral you, your higher dimensional you. And aura. I'm a really nice person, always respectful to others. People tend to mistake this as a weakness and try to step over me. I feel like I'm ending the paragraph now. Have I removed everyone in my life that has a paragraph? Oh, yeah, to a certain degree. Yeah, you're still making peace with yourself. It feels like within yourself, you're still healing insecurities. So, yes, you are making great progress. So, as it does insecurity, that's what they're seeing. It's not that you're a nice person, but they see your insecure energy. Some just go through it deep. They just see it. Uh, but you want them to see it so you can heal, so you can so you can repair it. Any messages from Raw? Yeah, it's a relationship energy from the past. Also, one you've taught a great deal of us. You learned from much of each other. It was an like old bo boyfriend from another planet. Uh, in another world, I see him as a midget. <clears throat> I do like hearing that. <laughs> Uh, Henry, last night I was driving a big truck, a very bad spiritual attack that hurt me badly. Can the family please tell me who done this to me and why? Hmm. It was like a gargoyle energy, an astral gargoyle being. Uh, but it's more, yeah, or it's a, a demonic trickster energy as a gargoyle. Let's put it that way. More astral. But it came from the area that you're connected to. So it's like, what are you doing here? So Laura Astral was very strong there. So as you drive through it, Laura Astral was like, it's like driving into hell, as you probably already know. So you can send your, your angel energies to heal that. Do you have any messages from higher rank military people who are in the 3rd D who are watching me? And Astral, well, I don't know why I saw it, like you stuck your tongue at them and stuff like that, but uh, you're showing them that their rankings don't mean anything. They don't like this. So of course they're going to get mad at you. You're showing that you're, you mean, you're showing that you're equal to them, that they're not better than you. So, of course, they don't like that either. So, this is, you know, you're, but this, this is all strengthening yourself, too. Because normally you would not do stuff like this. So, yeah, this whole world's about strengthening you, as you know. It's just hard. It's, not, it's like boot camp. You know how it goes. Uh, Jess, my relationship with coworker Christian has been mostly challenged. Uh, I've experienced classic case of empath, narcissist. No matter what I do, how much I light or bring, she acts so harsh and, and domineering towards me. I've adopted to protect my own energy. Okay, but it's all right. I can't read all this. What's up with this? For, well, yeah, because she's she's showing her own insecurity. That's what it's all about. She's weak. She's terrified of what's going on right now. So she's mentally losing her mind from what I gather. Yeah, she's scared. <clears throat> And you're not scared. And that makes her feel weak. She's scared for her own life. She's scared she might die. My health has I had a social life on pause. That's had a so I can say for day, as for day, but last two relationships I did try to have briefly for the men who ended up not to match as it turned out. Also, who both crossed over unexpectedly. One from a brain tumor and one with a heart attack. Well, you can say that's romantic, I guess. Well, that shows that that's a deep connection. Yeah, so th those connections are still going to be with you. Maybe not in this life, 
you know, energy. Well, I don't know if you want their energy around you, but it shows that those are, yeah, those are, yeah, that's deep. <laughs> that's, um, your humanity. Yeah. So they wanted you there before they died. That makes sense. That's rough. So I guess you are, you're part of the positive side, let's put it that way. If you want that, if you don't have to have their energy around, I kind of probably drive you crazy. Uh, Mia, do I have any messages from my guides? Uh, you're just part of a transforming energy, basically, to bring in new timelines. Just focus on the things that you need, you want, and give it time. Just be yourself, take everything day by day. Any messages for me? Other uh, form, yeah, you're kind of the unicorn uh, energies. Uh, basically, going through jumping through timelines and astral. Yeah, you're you're you and your unicorn. You have more to it than that. You have the life that you you're living life of self reflection here. Basically, you're overcoming challenges, things that you cannot do in other worlds are doing here, and it's it is making a lot of improvement. It's just it's hard. It's kind of like torture, right? But it is improving. Yeah, you used to connect to your guides. I think you kind of shut your guides out because you don't always want to hear what they have to say. But which is which is fine. Just keep going. What you follow your intuition. Amy, do the bones of my body have a message for me? Do they need anything? Do they need working out with weight? Yeah, just calcium. That's all. Water, water, calcium, honey, vinegar, maybe. Nothing major. Water is, water is number one. That's all. Your body, uh, bones are in good shape. It's good that you're doing, uh, it's good you're doing weights and stuff. That's good. That's what, yeah. You're doing it for yourself, which is good. Today is UFO awareness day. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember seeing that in the Google calendar. <laughs> Do my galactic friends have any messages for me? That's fine. Yeah, Zeta, say hi. Sorry for uh, abducting you so many times as a kid. Um, joke. Well, I'm not sure if that was a joke, but uh, I see Andromeda energies. Um, that you're still healing. I don't think you always got along with the Andromedans, uh, because some of them are kind of stiff and you know they're love making all the time, things like that. But uh, they don't always take things too seriously. That's another part. Where you, I think you're very serious here uh, because you connected the con, you know, Syrians. Uh, to take things more seriously to bring, you know, to end to a lot of, you know, difficulties. A lot of beings aren't, you know, I feel like the Andromedans of just some of the ones you've been around are kind of, like, kind of just pranksters, jokesters. And you're maturing a lot of some of your family, let's put it that way. Yeah, even alien families can get a pain in the ass. Uh, Miles, uh, blessings, I have a message from Spirit. Uh, you're, bring, you're just bringing more positive energy to yourself of, uh, connected to the moon, and you're just, I see you very fast and astral. You're like, uh, just kind of like the flash, something like that. Uh, you're just doing a million things at once in astral, it seems. Which probably makes this world even more enjoyable. <laughs> and messages from God, yeah, you're known to be like a titan, a, a, a spiritual being, yeah, a, well, an astral, well, I do see part of, yeah, finding skeleton beings in their astral, or in got in, yeah, astral. Um, it's not, yeah, I call it lower astral. Just it's another part of the war that's going on. Souls that have not fully crossed over into higher dimensions, uh, and they show up to you as skeleton beings. Yeah. Well, next time you see a skeleton, you might, yeah. Wanda, uh, any messages from Archangels? I see you connecting the gold energies for self healing, rehabilitation on multiple levels. Uh, I also see you healing the grays at this time. Uh, in higher astral, you're connected to many gray planets. In other worlds, but I think you have been abducted on other planets. You've actually been taken to other worlds other versions of you and learn from the grays and other beings. It's, it's kind of traumatic and that's why another reason why you're doing you're here. Is to heal a lot of that and bring that knowledge here. 
Any messages from my galactic family? Yeah, I feel like uh, you know, like the movie Starman. I see it connected to somebody like that on another version of Earth, and even other planets, as like an alien contact being. And once again, it's another reason why you're here. Yeah, you know, you're like a being here from another planet and have a strange connection with them, and you know, yeah, I feel like there's multiple lifetimes where we've had something like that. I don't know if that movie means anything to you, but um, yeah, it's something that you just bought that knowledge here for various reasons. I'll just leave it at that. Um, I guess you say you're very lucky. It hasn't happened in here, I don't think, but you have it within yourself, though. Vasco, what I haven't been doing in Astral. Uh, I see gremlin beings, I see trolls, I see. Uh, goblins, but I see you also calm with them, healing with them. Uh, you're just with a lot of strange beings. Uh, and Novak is there also, but it seems like a part of you is let's see. It's like you're understanding the beings that people cast out. Uh, you know, some of them in your brother, sister, things like that. Things that nobody understood. I have to say that they're negative, uh, but you now who? Would? But it just seems like you're making your life a little bit more interesting. Yeah, definitely connected to a troll world for sure, uh, but not what you want to see in here in fiction or anything like that. Trolls are can be magicians too. So. Here's your short though. Um, there's some that are ugly, but it's not. It's a different reality, but uh, any other messages from? Well, yeah, you're connected to your at your magic in this lifetime of having positive timelines or world chaos. I also see like time traveling buildings, buildings that shift dimensions, times. They're connected. They're connected to vortexes. Um, like the Matrix movie. Uh, just so, like you're going, you know, office building stuff like that. You're connected to. Just go into an office and you end up somewhere else, something like that. Just, um, yeah, the business world here is you're used to the medieval realities, which is kings. That's where that's really where you that's really your origins. The similar stuff to that. So, all right, okay, much love, everyone. Thank you for your questions. We'll be back tomorrow.